Okay, here we go. Do a bando. What's up, virgins? Welcome back. <laughs> 2021. Another episode of Attack of Opportunity. Happy New Year 2021. Yeah. My New Year's resolution is that we're not going to talk about D&D. We're going to talk about sports. So how about that Bill Belichick? Am I right, guys? Hell yeah, man. What? You know that new team, that, that QAnon team? Oh, wait, no, that's not sports. <laughs> All right, let's get into conspiracy theories. Here it goes. What is flat earth? The truth. <laughs> <laughs> According to NASA, which stands for never straight answer. <laughs> Is that really what they say? That's what they say. <laughs> oh shit! I love oh. I love flat Earth conspiracy like theorists because I'm like, man, I wish I could make a like live in a fantasy bubble. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it's like they'll make the they'll make the greatest fucking campaign worlds ever. They really will because they're hungry. Because they believe that like they they believe that like an ice shield is around the Earth yeah. and that like and, like, and planes can't pass that and like and, like, and, like the world is like being supported by like pillars and stuff. I'm like you're. Use. And like this creative energy could go to so much more <laughs> than our game. And every other planet, and for some reason, every other planet is round except for Earth. Nope. Earth is flat. No. <laughs> Dude, there isn't even space. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> the sun orbits around the top of yeah. Yeah, of no. course. Oh, man, that would be a that would be a hell of a setting. Yeah, it really. Well, Eber, 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 Eberron part two. <laughs> Why don't we make that? Because what the the, the flat Earth setting five E? It's called Disc World. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Disc World. Which I'm, per, which I'm pretty sure, like one of the flat Earthers, like read that's like, wait a minute, Terry Pratchett's got something going on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, God. oh well, that's gonna be the intro now. Okay. Um, <laughs> Started 2021 the strong. Thing. Even started the whole thing. <laughs> uh, but you know, for consistency's sake, let's play the music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, Andrew. It's 2021. The world did not end in 2020. <laughs> or as some people will say, December 52nd? Decem 2020? I think this is December 58th. <laughs> 58th? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what? What, to, Teresa sent me a screenshot that says, like, uh, January 1st, 2020. Uh, what was it? Like HD remix or something like that. <laughs> the, the re extended yeah. director's cut. <laughs> oh, this year started with bag, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about something very dear to our hearts. Q and the Lord of the Rings oh. book series. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa, we're really far apart. <laughs> Pizza Gate. <laughs> oh Jesus. Maybe one day we'll make an episode of a <laughs> and how to turn what? their conspiracy their conspiracy theories into a whole adventure. <laughs> Wait, there needs oh my god, I'm pretty sure someone's made it, but there needs to be like a homebrew adventure where you're just dealing with like a bunch of conspiracy theorists and you're like, no, dude, dude. <laughs> look, there's nothing going on with the pizzeria, man. It's literally just <laughs> you're just trying to figure out what the truth is and everything's fake news. <laughs> And real news at the same time. <laughs> What's that? Whoa, that, man. Hey, what color is that dragon over there? I don't know. It's not blue. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at him. <laughs> just tell me what it is. That's what we want you to think, man. Yeah. There's no such thing as dragons, man. They're like, they're drones <laughs> from the fucking government, dude. <laughs> the fucking, uh, what is it? Fifth, um, Fist Alliance or whatever the fuck. <laughs> fists They're trying alliance. to control their minds, man. Yeah, the Fists Alliance. I thought... Isn't it? What no, it I think it's like the, the King's Alliance or something like... Or Lord's Alliance or something like that. Lord's Alliance. Yeah. The, Lord's, the, 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 the fucking icon is the yeah. Fist. That's why I was thinking of that. <laughs> the Fist. That's the Lord's Alliance. <laughs> what you think, man? There's such a thing as Minotaur's Dungeons or whatnot. Yeah, man. But you know what it is. Look, look, look at look at their signet. It's a fucking fist. Count the fingers and the knuckles. What does it say? Seventeen. What is seventeen? Yeah. You, you, look, it's a cute. Look, look. It's, it's, a, it's a seventeen letter of the alphabet. It's cute, man. <laughs> send him. Send him just a message. Look, look at how many knuckles there are. There's four. You know what else has four letters? Juice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why? Why does it always go back to anti-Semitism? Everything. <laughs> Everything. It's like it's the like, money. I, I I told you that like like whenever I listen to like a conspiracy theorist like podcast, I'm like, and there's the anti-Semitic remarks. <laughs> 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 It's like 17 minutes, 31 seconds. <laughs> Bro, I, I I wonder, like, what's the point of you? Well, let's not get into that. We're not we're not here for oh, that. No, 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 no. A- answer the question because I'm curious. <laughs> we can get we can get no, into no, what no. we were talking about before. It, it wasn't it wasn't a question. I was just saying, like, like like Jewish people, like, how do they feel about this? Like, it's always them. They're like, bro, I wish I had that. <laughs> I would imagine some of them is like hilarious. It's like, yeah, oh. yeah, we run the world all right. That's <laughs> oh yeah, man, <laughs> totally. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a level seven T Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we I wish we had that much control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, anyways, <clears throat> you're talking uh, about something about Lord of the Rings. I don't know. And then I started going because no, <laughs> <laughs> you're re- you're starting to read Lord of the Rings. I'm starting to read read Lord of the Rings. I'm starting to try. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, to, I'm, to I'm read in the second Lord. towards the end of the second book of Lord of the Rings, and you just started. Yeah. It, um, it, the, the big problem that I'm having is that man, it's a slow start. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It's a very slow. It picks up after. Essentially, after he leaves the Shire, like yeah. after that, and when he gets to the pants, pants, actually, even before the the prancing pony, uh, when they're getting chased, and every time they take a fucking break to eat, they're like, bro, you have fucking ghosts behind you. Why are you eating? <laughs> you have something specifically called ring wraiths after you. Yeah. This is not the time for a for a bacon break. <laughs> Elevencies, but like, um, but it's. Uh, y- you kind of said it, and and I'm feeling the same sentiment. It's just, it's just the fact that we've watched the movies, so it's like there's no urge to know yeah. how the story continues. Cause it's like I, I yeah. kind of know what happens. I'm just like just get to the good part. <laughs> yeah. What I what I enjoyed about the first one was seeing the the differences. Mm-hmm. Uh, even the second one, all the way through. The problem with me is that <clears throat> as I was watching the sec, I was as I was reading the second one, the two towers. My friends and I started watching the the extended editions, and it just so happened that I, I dude, I'm like in the last chapter, legit, like it's only like ten pages, <laughs> um, and I watched the movie, but it's so fresh in my mind that every time I try to read it, I fall asleep while reading yeah. it because I already know everything. It's, that's the other thing. The movies are so they're like very accurate to the books. Right. They change stuff obviously for you know Hollywood stuff, yeah, yeah. Uh, but well, it, but compared for as an adaptation, I'm gonna say it's like ninety percent there. It's, it's- <laughs> They changed stuff for just from like the just from like a little bit that I read. They changed stuff not only for like Hollywood stuff, but also to kind of, um, I guess ease the narrative a bit because it's like mm-hmm. it's like as fascinating as it is to to learn where exactly hobbits may or may not have came from. Like I don't think the general audience cares exactly. <laughs> like yeah. oh these were river hobbits. I'm like okay that's cool. Can we get right. to the fireworks? <laughs> 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 where's Gandalf where's he yeah and like the whole thing like Gandalf leaves and he comes back like what like like seven years later was it I thought it was 17 years like no 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 oh uh, I thought it was seven no, no. what's it hold on you might be right because it's like it's like Bilbo gets Frodo of the ring and mm-hmm. and it's like okay I'm gonna I'm just leaving with these dwarves now I'm leaving with my special friends <laughs> off <laughs> right. into the mountain and then Frodo's like oh, okay that's cool and then like Gandalf comes by like a couple weeks later he's like hey how's everything going you need anything good right. okay blah 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 you know I can get DoorDash or something <laughs> and then he leaves and then he just like fucks off for like seven years mm-hmm. and then comes back he's like where's the ring <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret <laughs> you still have it <laughs> Then you put your name in the Goblet of Fire. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. Run on it, you put your name in the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> he said calmly. <laughs> I know a lot of people give that part crap, but Michael Gambon's a fantastic actor. So I'm, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with like us having, like, what was it, the first two? Two or three movies of like calm, cool, collected Gandalf, and then like off. I think it was, I think it, I, I think it was the first one. I thought it was the first two. I think I think no no no. I thought after, when they change actors, I thought after Chamber of Secrets, the original Dumbledore died. Maybe it, maybe but then after that's that, it's like off the rails, like day drinking, <laughs> <laughs> like like there's totally not whiskey in my coffee cup, Gandalf. I mean <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore, yeah. same thing. No, no. <laughs> Stephen Colbert would strongly disagree with you on that. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, which uh, which brings us to our um, to our guest of honor today, Stephen Colbert. How are you doing? <laughs> I, <laughs> Let's talk about Lord of the Rings with you for four hours. Stephen Colbert, Stephen, Steve, Stephen, your thing's not working. No, your his mic's not working. Hold on. Damn. Okay, let's try Steve. to figure this out. Well, 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 he he he's got to update something. We'll we'll bring him back. Don't worry about it. All right, yeah. all right, man. You would think that somebody with a fucking production uh, company I mean, under his belt will have a good speaker. He has a, I mean, a good mic. He's, he's a busy guy. He's got he's got a lot. I stuff guess. Halfway, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> bringing it back, kind of full circle. <laughs> <laughs> talking about kind of? everything about but Dungeons and Dragons. I don't want to. Come. Hey, what? We haven't seen. We haven't talked in like what, like a month. It's been, it's been a while. I mean, we haven't recorded our talks in a month. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but just because it's a new year doesn't mean that we're going to change our traditions. It is 10 a.m. in the morning. What are you drinking today, Co- Andrew? Coffee. I even asked. Oh, we were, we, we, we were not supposed to have alcoholic drinks. I, yeah, I, coffee. <laughs> I have coffee. <laughs> I have, well, I had, because I chugged it while you were talking about something, but I had a Starbucks, Starbucks holiday blend, mm. non-denominational holiday blend with a splash of Cold Stone Sweet Cream flavored creamer. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm drinking a phenomenal smoothie. Look at that color. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that color. See the seeds, the bits. Yes. It is a pineapple mango. And rum. <laughs> no. <laughs> As the name of the episode suggests, dragon fruit. Ooh, dragon fruit. I'm kind of on the fence about. Like there, there's some fresh. I've never had an actual dragon fruit that tastes like anything. <laughs> like it's always it tastes like nothing. I'm like I I don't understand dragon fruit. By itself, if I remember correctly, I might be confusing my fruits, <laughs> but I, I think I've had dragon fruit one time and it was like really tart. Like that's it. It was just yeah. like, <laughs> yep. And it's also it's also not this color. It's white. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Every time I get like dragon fruit taste, it's like drink or whatever. I'm expecting that flavor from the fruit, but the fruit tastes like like a kiwi without the sweetness of the kiwi. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, exactly. It's just it's just. A li- little bit of a citrus burn, kind of only getting a lot of tart. Like it's, it's a better, yeah. <laughs> it's a better mixer than it is yeah. like an actual. Yeah, if fruit. anything. <laughs> that's why. That's why I put uh, sixteen ounces of rum in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that straw is? Is, is like that little shot that you, like you pull it up and just like, <laughs> like oh, <laughs> oh god, I hate it when they do that. Like just put don't don't I don't want any gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, just give me the fucking drink. Yeah, just put the <laughs> shot in there. I'm a grown man. You know that? They're like, oh look at the, 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 the We're not in college anymore, damn it. Look, just give me my just give me my Corona margarita, like <laughs> with a little bit of dignity. <laughs> Um, is that um? Are those like breakfast, brunch, drinks, margaritas, no. mimosas, and bloody marys? I never heard of having a margarita for breakfast. Mimosas, yes, uh, and bloody marys. I never heard of a margarita for breakfast. Really? No. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I'm watching the wrong uh, um, white people TV show. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm doing it wrong because. <laughs> Anytime's a good time for a margarita. I love margaritas. Not for the alcohol. I actually, I actually just like the taste. The taste? Yeah. yeah no, they're, they're pretty tasty. And it's I'm like, not gonna lie. It's like I, I was despairing. Like, I want a margarita, but I don't want to get drunk. And Teresa's like, just have a virgin one. Like, no, no, no. I want the tequila flavor in there, too. Right. Like, the cake. That, yeah. What really holds it together. But I don't want to get drunk. <laughs> it's one margarita. How can you get drunk with one, one margarita? Because I'm a lightweight. <laughs> Wow. I really wow. am. Anyway, I, I really am. So, Andrew, it's been 45 minutes since we started talking. No, it's been 14:30 now. So, <laughs> um hold on. Let, what's today's episode? <laughs> before we Dragons. Before we get into that, let's check in on Steven. Mr. Colbert, are you He's still having problems. Okay. All right. Well, All right. Well, let's move on to the yeah, what, what, what he he can just jump in later when we talk about Tasha's cauldron of Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing and yet everything. <laughs> Tasha's uh, Schrodinger cauldron. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of nothing in there. <laughs> That's, I, from what I have heard, it's okay. <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah. We'll get to that eventually. But 
the main uh, talking point for today is the most beautiful creatures in the whole of D and D. Metallic dragons. Oh, I thought you were gonna say hags. <laughs> no, no, they're they're not. It actually says in the stab block that they are hideous. <laughs> <laughs> that's one other. That's one other um, um, later actions. Anyways, so Andrew, metallic dragon. We're gonna talk about these bad boys because we talk about chromatic dragons. Right. Metallica dragons. Um, not quite as good as Megadeth dragons. I personally think this is just my opinion. Um, their first three albums were okay. After that, after the Black album, no, 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 no. Oh. Andrew, 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 we're, we're, we're talking about the creatures or D and D. I'm just saying they sold out. That's all. <laughs> all right, so Metallic Dragons. All right, so we talked about Chromatic Dragons a little bit, not as much as I would like, but whatever. <laughs> no, we're, we weren't going to do a three-hour episode. No, I didn't ask for a three-hour episode. I asked for an episode per dragon. <laughs> They're different. <laughs> <laughs> might might even be more than that. <laughs> <You never know. laughs> okay, so so you have your chromatic dragons, which is like every kind of like evil area yeah. in the greed and trickery and except uh, except for lust because D and D is like a weirdly like asexual game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so unless it's like lust for power or something like that, <laughs> <laughs> which all dragons have. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that kind of comes with the territory. The dragon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So every every tick of the alignment chart on the evil side, it's like dragon, 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 dragon. Right. So then you have the metallic dragons, which are the exact opposite. They are good. Now, when I say good, I don't mean that's like, oh, hey, there's a metallic dragon here. He's going to help us. No, 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 my friends. <laughs> right. Because, again, we have to remember dragons are probably the closest things to like actual deities on the mortal plane material plane there we go <laughs> know your planes andrew <laughs> when you're talking about the subject matter at hand <laughs> <laughs> because they're like they're the closest thing to like deities on like the material plane it's very much like a does this actually concern me is there a way you can fix it if so why am i being bothered with this kind of a thing like they are right. actually good but it's not like they're going to they're not they're, they're actively good. Yeah. They're not heroes, and they're not gonna jump into the whatever's happening in water water deep and fix it. Yeah, it's like it's like if a village is being like bothered by goblins, and somebody like goes up to like the gold dragon's like, "Hey, there's these goblins that are helping us." And, and the, the gold dragon's like, "Well, I can give you advice, but I'm look, man, I, I got other stuff I got to do." <laughs> <laughs> It's tax season. I got a like. I got all these like ten. I got a lot of treasures too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I gotta hide these taxes. I mean, I gotta hide these treasures for the IRS gets on my ass. I gotta move them to Schultz so I don't get charged for the taxes. <laughs> my offshore account. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why it's called the Forgotten Realms. <laughs> uh, that be- so what's the what's the what's what's uh, other than being good? One of the other main differences from chromatic dragons is the fact that they can shape shift. They can sh- into humanoids, humans or animals. Actually, I think they can like shape shift into anything. Actually, because it talks right, right, right. Because uh, the um, the gold dragon descriptor. Hold on a second. Ew. I know. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning. Uh, well, for me, it's early in the morning. It's Sunday. <laughs> it's it's eleven o'clock on a Sunday. It's early. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <clears throat> But like the gold dragon descriptor uh, specifically says that it might turn into a human or a humanoid creature to like kind of like patronize and deal with villagers. Not not in a bad way. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. They're just curious. Yeah. Or um, especially about like the short lived uh, races. Mm-hmm. Or um, wait, but, but it also might. What does that mean that Gandalf is a dragon? He might be. He might be a silver dragon. Anyways, um, but. <laughs> But also that it, um, but it can also like turn into an animal to kind of be like a, like 
like if there's like a child lost in the woods, like, oh, hey, here's this dog. Like, how does this dog know the exact way to the village? Uh, who cares? Right, 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 who right. cares? I'm seven and I'm stupid. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Not going to question yeah. it. Oh, doggy. Where did the good boy go? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I'm <sad. laughs> Little did they know. Wow. Little, you role play, you, you role play small children pretty well. well. I mean, <laughs> I, I was one at one time. So <laughs> little, did they, well. little did they know that, that that dog could do 12 D10 5 fire damage at any yeah. given point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it's also kind of interesting to note that even though they are alignment good, they kind of, they do odd things <laughs> in, in, in terms of like, like fulfilling what they want out of like their curiosities and stuff. Because there are some that are curious and there are some that, like the goal, I think, What's it? The brass dragon's curious. The copper dragon's like this, that, or the other. Gold dragon kind of wants to be by himself. There's only one right. actual dragon I can think of that would honestly step in if there was a threat to like, like an active threat. And I think that's the silver dragon. <laughs> Any other one would be like, all right, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> it's just kind of like, you know, the the the, the bronze dragon too. He likes he likes fighty fights. Yeah, the bronze dragon likes fights, but it has. I think if I remember correctly, it has to be like a proper war. Like it needs, right, right, yeah, right. Like, he wants to. He wants to. He wants to step. He wants to test his steel against yeah, but, weapons of mass destruction. But, okay, so let's so let's get into them proper dragons. All right. <laughs> First off, brass dragons. Brass dragons. Curious, intelligent, wants a conversation at. Any cost. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was reading that and I'm like, that sounds kind of rapey, man. I don't know. If a I'm little. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's it's just like <laughs> I can I can see like a brass dragon being like being like a little kid. Like, so what? Why? Why do you have that sword? Oh, because I got an adventure. Why? Because I went on an adventure to help these people. Why? Because they needed help. Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three hours later, because things aren't and things are. You can't have things that aren't when you can't have also things that are. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what I imagined too. Um, uh, but boldly talkative. That's what. What's that, that's what they call it in the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's also it's also kind of interesting to note that. Um, Metallic dragons also have hordes of gold and yeah. treasure, but it's not like to the point where it's like a chromatic dragon has one. And also, if you steal from a metallic dragon's hordes, like you might get a scolding, um, but they're not going. <laughs> yeah, 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 they're not going to like flay the flesh from your bones like any of the chromatic dragons <laughs> and destroy your house and your family. <laughs> yeah, it just, and every descendant they just wipe out your lineage <laughs> just because it feels like it. They'll be like, hey, hey. I do think I, I do think it's cool that that the dragons, the metallic dragons, can sniff who you are, your family, your descendants, generations back, and remember. Mm-hmm. I think that's crazy. That that would that would be a really good um like plot point for like just like a normal character who's like, oh hey I'm just a champion fighter vanilla human haha you know kind of a thing, and then like what's it the brass dragons like, it's like oh you're great 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 like grandfather <laughs> was like the conqueror of these lands and blah 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 and he pillaged and he was like reviled and the guy's like, what. <laughs> 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 You mean to tell me that I'm related to fantasy Hitler? <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't need to know that. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> I gained nothing from this. <laughs> like my life, was, my life has markedly become worse after this. Yeah. That's that's a real evil of a, of a metallic drag. <laughs> Haha, ha, now, now you are cursed with this knowledge. Away. <laughs> 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 Comes back to a tax collector. <laughs> oh, you're a tax collector. <laughs> You'll have to. You're cursed with this knowledge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that your that, that your father thinks that you're a mistake? Huh? <laughs> 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 and, and the tax collector's like, I already do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're talking about Trump Jr. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hey, you might want to go to a doctor. Just, I'm just letting you know your family has like a history of diabetes. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> just, just got to get that out there. <laughs> Bye. Oh, thanks. 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very useful skill. Yeah, K, I guess. K had a good more ways than one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we are the best role player in Open Dark Dragons. I, dude, <laughs> if I ever actually got to play a dragon, I would just be like, "What's up? <laughs> 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 this is my lair. That's my stuff. Do not touch my stuff." <laughs> For some reason, my dragons were played by Stephen Wright, the comedian. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? This is my lair. <laughs> <laughs> okay anyways so so a brass, so a brass dragon's like he wants to have a conversation with everything like it wants to like hey what's your story and it's like if there's like a person or like a sorcerer or like an awakened tree it's like hey what's your story <laughs> and like and like the, right, like right, the right. awakened tree would be like well i was a tree for the first 1000 years and the brass dragon's like hanging on to every word he's like whoa that's awesome <laughs> but if if like <laughs> If, if if like the person doesn't want to be bothered with the brass dragon and tries to leave the brass dragon will pursue it not in like a violent manner but will just like walk behind it or fly yeah. next to it like, hey man what's going on like, <laughs> <laughs> like what's your story like, dude? Leave, what, 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 what? Leave, leave me alone man like, no 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 no, no, no. I, got, no I got no this <laughs> and then if the guy tries to run away by either like force or magic or something the brass dragon will hit it with its sleep breath and then when it wakes up it's like Hey man, you never told me what was going on. <laughs> 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 it's just, and it's like, it's like, is that is is that a? I feel like I've seen this in a TV show somewhere. It's, we need to. <laughs> it's like, is that a bit dicey? Yes, but also kind of thinking from the dragon's perspective, it's like, hey man, you just got eight hours of sleep thanks to me. So. What's going on? The rest. <laughs> yeah. What's that? What's happening out there? What's happening with you? Tell me about you. Yeah. But no, no, no. Don't make this about me. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> like, enough about me. Best conversationalist ever. I mean, <laughs> I bet all. I bet all the girls' dragons are after him. He just he listens. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he truly listens. He gets okay? me. Not just. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like i mean i mean and it's like yeah you, you mentioned before it's kind of rapey but it's like think about it from the dragon's perspective it's like oh okay so he slept for a day like what's a day when you're like almost immortal yeah, and, yeah, you, yeah, know, yeah. all you have to do is tell me a story i don't get it why do what? <laughs> <laughs> what's the big deal man just tell yeah, me just fucking talk to me man i just want i just want to be your friend <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean, if you play it that way, yes, it's a bit obnoxious. But you can also kind of imagine it's like a brass dragon's just really curious, and for some reason wants a yeah. lot of perspective. Um, and because what is his treasure like? Its treasure is that it wants intelligent items. It wants like Ooh. intelligent swords and intelligent like amulets and stuff that like, it can like talk sentient. to. <laughs> well, a gin trapped in like a lamp or something like yeah. that. Can you imagine that? Uh, that would be forged. That's, that'll be that'll be like the way the best way to like <coughs> to torture a gin. Give it to a give it to a brass dragon and then just have him talk to him all the time. Yeah. And then when he gets bored, he goes away. And then he rubs the lamp again. He comes back at again and he talks to it again. <laughs> yeah, like 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 the gin's like, all right, man, we'll continue to talk another day. And then like five minutes later, <laughs> the like the brass dragon rubs lamp like. So I've been thinking a lot about the time we've been apart. <laughs> 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 and the like, uh, oh, yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's like, do, do you want like any wishes or something? No, 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 I'm good about that. I just want, to, anyways. So I was thinking, <laughs> so this QAnon, <laughs> oh god, I'm to sort of have some good ideas. <laughs> And the Jen's like, oh yeah, dude, is that is that right? <laughs> just, like, just like doing that, like that non-committal talking, you know, what I'm talking about, just like, damn, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> like, over and over again. Um, oh, Jesus. But, but um, something that was kind of interesting that we didn't really talk about before is that all metallic dragons, whereas chromatic dragons, they have like an elemental breath weapon. Metallic yeah. dragons will have like an elemental breath weapon and then a non-lethal. Uh, breath weapon so it's always just yeah. like hey stop that and then like the avengers are still like kind of like like <clears throat> attacking yeah, yeah. his heels and it's like okay seriously stop that and it's like and they attack okay that's it sleep breath <laughs> <laughs> i had it with all of you yeah. <laughs> everyone go to sleep now <laughs> it's just like chloroform 
<laughs> Strap. That's 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 bad for your brain cells, man. <laughs> I, they, you know, these Avengers are stupid anyways. We're attacking a brass dragon. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it. What's I think that's it. I think that's all there is about brass dragons that they like to talk and they want treasure that talks back. <laughs> It's, it, very a uh, very very simple dragon. The greatest treasure is friendship. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> another another interesting uh, another interesting thing about metallic dragons is that a lot of their lair actions and like things that go on outside the layers are not hostile. They're not yeah. Like it's usually just like atmospheric or just kind of like hey, don't go in. Really, to men keep away. Yeah, like hey, yeah. get out of here. <laughs> like, like doesn't doesn't one of them like put like supplies in like a resting area? Oh no! Footsteps. It leads footsteps that leads to like supplies in the resting area away from the yeah. layer of the dragon. It's, it's, it's yeah. literally just like a sign. It's like rest rest stop three point five miles rest stop. this way. Well, that way. <laughs> yeah. You should probably go that. There's a snack machine that's like, whoo man. I don't know. I don't know what it is about those Cheetos and that snack machine, but they're like way better. <laughs> 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 and it has like the coffee machine that's like it like <laughs> the really good one yeah. oh no the- <laughs> i mean it's 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 really good for what it is <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> but yeah it's just, it, it's like it, it there's a lot of non-hostility even with like the warring dragons with these like hey let's I'll try to get along because I'm like a CR25 monster and I will kill you yeah, if yeah, I yeah. have to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's brass dragons. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> the bronze dragons. Bronze dragons. These are, these are the, the ones that... Didn't we run into one of these in uh, Dragon Heist? No, it was a gold dragon. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was say, gold dragons can't swim. <laughs> he was... Yeah, but- he was... <laughs> Go on. No, no, no. Probably, but I don't think they care for it. Oh, they can. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, yeah, the, 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 yeah, he was in a coastal area, but it was a young bronze dragon, right? If I remember correctly. So, bronze dragons, they like the sea. They're the underwater dragons. However, they also like to fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it kind of conjures up this image of, like, these two armies, like, fighting at the beach. And also, there's this, this like... Bronze dragons charging out of the water. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I guess imagine it's like a meathead in, in, at the beach, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Tanning himself and always working out, <laughs> looking for a fight. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Looks at like the copper at Brad Dragon's like, hold me back, bro. Hold me back. <laughs> you're looking. You're, you're like my friends here. Hold me back. And they're, and they're like not even touching him. They're like, no, dude, do it. go, go do it. Like, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see this play out. <laughs> the copper dragon would be like that. The copper dragon would be like, yes, it would. <laughs> this would be a great story to tell. <laughs> oh man, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them <fuck> up. <laughs> non lethally. Non lethally. Yeah, use your use your repulsion breath. <laughs> <laughs> I snap his oh, spine. Non lethally. <laughs> <laughs> I cast scorching ray. Non lethally. <laughs> Okay, so so what are, what are these guys like? They like to fight. <laughs> they love fighting. Like they love they love um, exploring the coasts and like the oceans and stuff like that. And, like getting treasures from like sunken ships and whatnot. But the one thing they love the most is fighting. Like they love war, and not like at a like a, not like at a horrible like I love napalm in the morning, <laughs> like right. the smell of napalm in the morning kind of thing. But it's like if there's an actual like war like battle breaking out, they will observe from a faraway position and maybe ask somebody like, Hey, who's what's going on here? (laughs) And, and they will determine like who's on the side of good and who's on the side of evil, which as anyone who actually knows how war goes, it's kind of a gray area, but you know, because it's fantasy. Oh, like, Oh, the evil King, blah, blah, blah. is fighting off the rebels or something like that. So he's like, okay, I'll be right back. And then joins the rebel side. (laughs) (laughs) And, and and I uh, it says that once it joins a side, it's a staunch ally. Like it will be there till the end of whatever, like mm. like it needs to get done with. So that's cool. So it's like always try to have your fights near a beach. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> 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 why, why 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 is the battlefield all, all the way over there? It's a seven mile march. No, no, just listen. <laughs> I got some intel. <laughs> This might pay off. <laughs> yeah. 
We just have to. We just have to act like we're the 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 um, the oppressed people. Okay, yeah, just, they, uh, it'll pay off. It, I promise. Listen, it's not the civil war. It's the <laughs> war of northern aggression. Just tell them it's the war of. Northern aggression. <laughs> <laughs> also, while you're out of here, uh, spread some of this propaganda. I mean, flyers around here. <laughs> Remember, we're fighting for states' rights. States' rights of what? Don't fucking answer that question. <laughs> 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 hmm. <laughs> so wait, does that mean that like a bad person could convince a, or like a bad a bad regime could convince could, could convince a bronze dragon? I would that they're the good guys. I would imagine potentially if it's if if it's if it's something like an ancient bronze dragon, I don't think they would because, well, I don't know their intelligence and wisdom is not too terribly high compared to the rest of their um right. Uh, Compared to, the rest, <coughs> blah, 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 blah. compared to the rest of their skills however they do have an insight of plus 10 so it could be something like like an ancient one would be like you yeah, know i've kind of heard of this whole rigmarole before like are these like actual <laughs> terrorists or are they freedom fighters like what's the <laughs> 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 but if it's like a if it's like a younger one like like maybe like a young or an adult i, I don't think a worm is gonna really help that much but if it's like a young or adult you might be able to hey a young bronze dragon can can still kick oh, some yeah, ass yeah. That, that that but it's also it's also young enough and probably doesn't have that great of an insight to where like if you get it like a particularly charismatic evil person to sway them be like you know trickle down economics could work (laughs) 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 so i mean like you really could because like what is like like i said unless it's like an obvious evil thing like if it's a lich fighting an army of people, right, right right then yeah that's one thing but if it's like two human conflict or humanoid conflicts it's like mm, gray areas so it could also play in the fact that like it, that's why it's so hard to get the dragon to come into the yeah into the fight with you yeah be, you know i mean because because it does it does say that it will it will observe the fight until it can actually determine like which side is good so it's probably gonna it, what it will probably do is that it, it might like transform into a human and then just kind of check in on both sides like like mm. like sir i, I kind of fr- I, I i missed the morning meeting what are we fighting for again <laughs> <laughs> so, with a pitchfork yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like so it, it, it'll do that and then be a, and then it then it might go away and kind of assess the situation and be like northern aggression right right, right. What the fuck? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> right you know okay yeah so but i mean that I, I think that would be an interesting like kind of little subplot for like a war going on like hey there's a bronze dragon on the side the enemy camp is going to send like someone to like uh like regale it and kind of like like get it on its side like we gotta we gotta have like a counter offense and then boom you got a trial <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Damn, that'd be that will definitely make the classic like oh you have to like breach this wall and like fight over fight after fight after fight after fight mm-hmm. into a bit more of an interesting take on an actual war. Yeah. I mean, because you know it could be it, it can turn something like a war of attrition into like okay, if we get this bronze dragon on our side, we will win this. Like we have to get this guy on our side, kind of a thing. Right. So like yeah, but it. So it, it can be the classic, like, oh, we have to use him now. That way we can save a lot more lives. But how much damage is it going to do? You know, like that kind of like, you know, should we use big boy, whatever, from World War Two type situation? Or it could be, yeah. Or or it could be, <laughs> you're talking about Fat Man and Little Boy. <laughs> Fat Man and Little Boy. <laughs> or it could it could be something like like the Stalingrad situation where it's like they are not, they are not, it is not a matter of how many people they are losing per mile. is how many people they are losing per feet. Like they were fighting buy apartment rooms in like the complexes and stuff like that like it, it was like they were losing like hundreds of people to gain a foot of ground so it's like yeah. look we are <laughs> i mean russia wouldn't give a fuck about losing the people but it's like, <laughs> but it's like look we we are too much bloodshed here just try to get that bronze dragon on our side and we could just wipe them out and just that yeah just like you said like like this war is taking way too long it's it's a money sink on resources and stuff like that so let's just you know kind of yeah Hmm. Shit, that'd be, I like that. That'd be really interesting. That'd be a really cool idea. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So, so it's writing down. <laughs> oh man, dude, can you imagine like a like D and D World War One <laughs> situation where it's like, and I, you have to you have to find out like what could what would come because like you know the players wouldn't know this, you know they only know that like there's a drag a, a metallic dragon, mm-hmm. you know, but they don't know the personality of the metallic dragon. They don't know what they want. Mm-hmm. 
no. you know, like or how to convince them. Like they can, they might go there with like, hey, listen, this is what like um a very short lived uh human perspective on the war. Right. And then they get there, they talk to her, and then they get like, listen, I've been here for like five hundred years. I don't give a shit about you guys. Yeah. You know, and then they have to like find another way to like convince this. That'd be really cool. Well it it could it could be something where it's like there's a metallic like you said, there's a metallic dragon. We don't know what kind of metallic dragon it is, but we know there's a metallic dragon in the area. Pray to God it's a bronze it's a bronze one because yeah. if it's like if it's a gold dragon, it's not gonna give a crap <laughs> about, yeah, yeah. about about our little skirmishes. If it's a copper dragon, stay away. Um yeah. I mean not not that it's not gonna help, but just, you know, just it might not be a good idea right now. <laughs> so, I like uh, I like how it also says that in the the metallic dragon might be a way to like satisfy his wealth would just be like a participation badge from mm-hmm. the war that he was in. Like it doesn't have to be anything big. It can just be like, hey, you know, hero or the the blue cross or whatever the fuck. Yeah, he, you just, know. he wants a medal. That's all. Yeah, he he yeah. he just wants something to signify that he took part in this conflict and he helped. <laughs> you yeah. know. But I also like I think if I read it correctly, like the bronze dragon, like it has like siege weapons for for treasure and stuff like that like it has oh like, really if i if i if i believe so let's see da, 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 da. <laughs> no i think i think it, it likes to prove itself against siege weapons oh okay never mind yeah well, like it wants to be like hey i'm the biggest weapon for this war like i can take on all of you guys yeah. type situation what the hell's a trebuchet <laughs> oh wait it can launch a rock how many kilometers <laughs> He, he picks the one up and he's <laughs> knurls. But I, I think it's also kind of neat that's like, okay, if you can't give me a medal, I want a treasure that was like treasured by the op- opposing side. Like, mm. like I want the Reichstag flag. Right, <laughs> like, right, right, that's right, what right. I want. <laughs> you know, just hey, like, man, that, that's a prize. That's a prize that a lot of people will be willing to uh, and, to partake with. And I mean, I mean to and, and if you part have, with. If you have to think about it, a lot of people had done that. Like, how many how many World War II veterans came back with like with like samurai swords and like like Nazi knives and stuff like yeah. that? Just like, hey, look, I got it off a dead guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, mean, I killed them gummies. I mean, Nazis. I'm totally not haunted by it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that got dark real quick. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the next dragon. No, this no, guy, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. One last big, big fighty war guy. One last, one last thing about the bronze dragon. I think it's really cool. Is that it? One of the um, one of the layer actions that it creates a fog. Like that's it. Like it's it's a literal <laughs> fog of war. <laughs> I was gonna say fog of war. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like it, so so it can just be like a World War One situation where it's just like a barbed wire and there's like fog and like. It's like, what's up there? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> someone sticks their head up. <laughs> Let's get some- <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so when are we going to play the Gristled again? We're not. <laughs> Never. Damn it, Andrew. We're not ever going to play that game again. It bring- I can't believe such a small game can cause so much pain. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Anyways, so yes, bronze dragons, pretty cool. They like to fisticuffs with big machinery, war, big war machines. Right, and that includes your army of humans. He will fight them too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, siege towers. Nah, nah. <laughs> How many humans? You said thirty thousand. <laughs> All right, line up them coffins, boys. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> they might, they better start like printing out purple hearts in mass. <laughs> <laughs> and again, yes, it will help, but only like in a major conflict. Like it has to yeah, be like yeah. an actual war, like you know, banners and trumpets and stuff like that. Like I'm not fighting off two D four plus three goblins. Like nah, I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah, no, this is this is a. Uh... Uh, Battle of the Bastards, you know, um, mm-hmm. what's the, the 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 one that nobody could see because it was so dark, darkly filmed. The Darkest Night, the long the night. Darkest Night, the, you know, the Long Night, yeah. The Dark Night, Dark Night Rises. Which the one? Dark Night Rises. <laughs> 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 like those big, those big, big conflicts. Yeah, you know, like the the like Hel- Helm's Deep would be would be like awesome for a bronze dragon. It's like you mean to tell me that there's a little caveat of people against like a swarm of war- warriors? Holy fuck! Why did nobody tell me about this? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be so psyched. Yes! You're just like, just like fuck it, like, I gotta go, I gotta go! <laughs> Call your 
his way out through the mountains. Oh, oh, almost there. Almost there. You I'm can, gonna miss it. You can fly. You can fly. <laughs> the, the, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. That's what I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking muscle oh, head. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so totally. That's, I can I can imagine that someone created a bronze dragon, just like the writers actually created a bronze dragon, just be like, you know, can help the situation out. <laughs> like, like, like it was like a really bad conflict. Like, what if just like a dragon just came by, and just, just burned everything? <laughs> or wait, do they, do they have fire breath? I think it's like acid breath. No, it's lightning breath. <laughs> lightning breath. Lightning or repulsion breath, which is like repulsion breath is just a really strong blast of air. Like a thunder, I guess, you know? I mean, because it's like, oh, you get pushed like X amount of feet if you don't make a saving throw. I'm like, that's literally gust of wind. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. I'm not getting 30, 30, 30 feet away. Anyways. Um, I think I, yes. I, I think how far you get pushed back changes on the stats. Because I, I think the ancient one's like 120 feet or some crap like that. Oh, maybe no, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, that's not that far. Which, by the way, I will home rule that if you get hit with a repulsion breath, you are going to be taking like fall damage for how long, for how far you got pushed back. <laughs> yeah, none of that, none of that superhero bullshit that you get yeah. thrown through a freaking building and nothing happens. Yeah, to. and then you lay on your knees all cool. No, 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 man, you're gonna be feeling that in the morning. <laughs> like you, you, get, you get thrown through a wall, you're gonna need to see a chiropractor. Like face. <laughs> You gotta have those weird pains that come and go, but they scare you because they're too sharp. Yeah. Ah, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, okay. It's I gotta see somebody about this. <laughs> this is it. I'm coming, Elizabeth. <laughs> or you, just, you just wake up in the morning like, oh, I'm all stiff, and I don't know why I didn't even do anything yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Anyways, throw, what's an extra egg and <laughs> Throw your back out picking up a pencil you dropped. Anyways. <laughs> The next, totally, totally not talking from personal experience. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Throwing your back out because you're trying to sc- like stretch out a cramp in your back. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me. <laughs> that made me feel so useless. I'm like, I need to get in shape. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, enough about that. Let's talk about fancy dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Copper dragons, Andrew. Cop- Copper dragons. Co- Copper dragons. Um, can be- Which, by the way, they look they look so cool in the art they because look- they have that. Um, what's it called when the when the when the copper rust that that, that uh, like the oxidation kind of a the thing? oxidation yeah. of it, it has that color too. It's yeah, where nice. it like starts to turn green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Copper dragons can be summed up with the phrase, "It's just a prank, bro." <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> There's another cover dragon a couple feet away with a camera. Yeah, hey, hey, it's just a prank. It's just a prank, man. I'm gonna pay this homeless money. Let's slap him in the face. Hey, hey, it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the most mischievous out of all of them, isn't it? Yeah, they they like to pull pranks. Um, I don't I don't know that actually do anything like that harsh. <laughs> the whole- I love I love how it says that like a uh, uh, copper dragon can get. Um, become annoyed if somebody doesn't laugh at their joke mm-hmm. so i just imagine they're like that awkward host they're really nice to you and then they crack a joke and you lo- you don't laugh as loud as they think yeah that you should and then they just like look at you for like a couple seconds very like sternly yeah they're like hey why does why doesn't uh why doesn't cows have feet because they lack toes come on man i've been working on that one for a while <laughs> <laughs> and they make it very accurate <laughs> this a copper dragon is like a copper dragon is like the boss you would have at like an office place where they like crack a really bad joke and you're just like ha 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 ha, ha. So, so 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 Michael from from the, from the office yeah like please give me a good review on my <laughs> 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 the, the boss laugh you know what I'm talking about you're like ha, 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 all right <laughs> um, I, so think, that, I, I think it could have been an email man yeah <laughs> I can I can see I could see like. I can see, like, a copper dragon, like, taking the whole, like, not appreciating a joke thing and, like, the worst way possible, where it's like, where it's like, you didn't think I was funny? I worked on that joke for a long time. You, you, do you realize how valuable my time is? Meanwhile, <laughs> the heroes and everybody are trying to, like, escape this crazy, like, <laughs> destruction, and, and he's, th- he's been helping them this whole Just time. The but, they didn't, they, but they didn't laugh at the joke, and now it's very awkward, <laughs> and they're afraid that the dragon is going to, like... Like just, turn them. just laugh at the joke, man. The lawful neutral wizard's like, but it's not funny. It doesn't. It doesn't acquire to the lawful. Just laugh at the fucking joke. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, the, the lich with the hellhounds is coming after them. <laughs> just <laughs> great, explosions and walls falling around. <laughs> just say it was a good joke, but it wasn't. It was. It, it, it didn't. It didn't. It lacked the, uh, the the proper form of syntax in his delivery. To do some, some cleaning up. <laughs> Oh, that was totally happening. That was totally happen in our group. For, <laughs> for fuck's sake, man! Just say it was a good joke, okay? Just <laughs> it's the only way out of here, okay? But, but I, uh, it's like the it's like the exact opposite of the uh, of of like the fun guy thing from Casino, <laughs> or like you know what I'm talking about? I don't remember now. Okay, we're not gonna get to that. <laughs> um. I do think it's really funny though that like one of the regional effects that's like, like, uh, like about a couple of miles or so outside of its lair that like people just find things funny for some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just like crack up. <laughs> it's, just, like, it's just like I I can imagine it just like some people laughing. It's like what's going on? Like I just remember this really funny joke. <laughs> it's like well, what was the joke? Like it's, it'll take too long. You had to be there. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You had to be there, kind of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I love the I love the, the the area the area of effect um, stuff from the good dragons because they're also like the, the last ones were like oh this wall of cloud and like it shows you the worst nightmares mm-hmm. and bullshit like that yeah and these guys are like no you just feel better when they're around yeah you know there's this huh. they, they they stay away from this area but it, you know they they feel nice you know they laugh you know they get food and water yeah, but I could I, I I could still I could still imagine that being like a little like whoa okay what's going on where it's like are like the lawful neutral wizard from the last like <laughs> scenario. It's just like, why is he laughing? <laughs> <laughs> like that makes, <coughs> that makes me worried when he starts laughing. So people like, yeah. is, there just like is there like a spell effect or something going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not harmful. So they're like, oh, well, what's the big deal? Dude, let's just keep moving. Like nothing's happening. The, the terrifying thing to me is that like one of the other, the other regional effect is that uh, magic carvings of this dragon's smiling visage can be oh, yeah. seen on certain terrains. So you're just walking, also you just see this big like evil grin, like <laughs> it's just, just like, hey, what the fuck is that all about? <laughs> what are we? And why are we going that way? <laughs> why do I find this funny? That's all. Because like, if, yeah, if, if you look at a copper dragon you, artwork, you, you're you're aware that it's terrifying, but you keep laughing because of the area of effect. <laughs> Is this just turn into like the Joker's uh, the, the Joker smoke thing? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Joker gas. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's just like it's just like a copper dragon. I can't. I. <laughs> I can I can see it being like oh like here's the door to my lair and there's like a bucket of water above it and just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah he makes it very obvious <laughs> but if you don't trip it he gets angry at you yeah and like and like someone like walks around the door because it's literally just a door in a cave so there's like no walls or anything like that <laughs> so someone just walks around they're like no dude come on man come no, no, on no no he's like no 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 you have to. You- Go through the door. Go through the door. You know, you know, it won't, it won't let him come through unless they go through the door. You know what I just realized the copper dragon is? The copper dragon is that friend that shows you a funny video on YouTube and watches oh it God. with you and waits and just looks at you for your reaction. <laughs> so, me when I was showing you that video the other day, <laughs> or me when I do that with anybody else, and like I realized, like, this isn't funny. I'm the only person that finds this funny. <laughs> We've all been there, man. It's almost like that. And it's just like, and, 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 and meanwhile, the lawful neutral wizard is just like, <laughs> stone cold fan. Yeah, just like watching this YouTube video. Just like, you got it, nigga. Yeah, I got, I got it. I ain't laughing, but I got it. <laughs> Oh god. By the way, if I ever have to if I ever have to role play a copper dragon, it will be nothing but bad jokes. <laughs> just like, yes. When is the door not a door? When is the door? <laughs> Laugh or I'm gonna use my acid breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. And, and it's gonna be like, is that no one laughing? Okay, I need to see some deck saves. <laughs> <laughs> Until it actually becomes like the 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 boss laugh, like people have to laugh at the DM. Uh, that's that's next level role play, man. It really is. Um, so oh, Jesus, God. 
Copper dragons are <laughs> copper dragons are like the groundwork for psychopaths. <laughs> yeah. That's how jokers get started. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so because they like jokes and crap so much, they treasure bards. Like it says in the book, they treasure bards. So it's like, do they take care of it? <laughs> like, do they feed well, it? Do it, they water it? it? Says, do they put it, it like in a little jar with like holes <laughs> punching punch, punch the stuff like it's air? <laughs> like, no, I, I mean, it's a, I'm assuming and its lair has like a room and it allows the bard to come and go to places as long as it, <laughs> it stays. Has, it has an open mic night for bards. <laughs> <laughs> the one bard and then just him with a table and everything. Yeah. Sitting. <laughs> and, and, like, and like the bard's like, what's the deal with airline food? And the copper dragon's like, oh my fucking God, right? <laughs> Like laughing at all. He gets everything. <laughs> he just ha ah, like in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's the one table with like with like the little like table like candle in the center, you know what I'm talking about? No, it's like they get a little cup with like with a flower. Yeah. But then there's like but then there's like there's like six or seven tables in front of him. <laughs> He's not like right in front. He's like other in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. because he doesn't. He does. He doesn't want to get in the front row because he doesn't want to get burned by the bard. Like you know, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> like, but he's the only one. Yeah. <laughs> in his whole treasure trove, he has a replica stand-up comedy club yeah. <laughs> floor plan. My my God is Larry David. <laughs> 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 he even has like the little like uh, the little shitty bar in the back and nobody's there mm-hmm. but he like plays the bartender and himself yeah. when he orders a drink <laughs> <laughs> jeez I paid $30 for like three drinks and I'm not even feeling anything like what the fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think they're watering it down <laughs> and meanwhile the bar goes around and then he goes around he makes his own drink and he waters it <laughs> no I, I imagine it's just like it's just like it's like <laughs> like He's talking to the bartender, and it's smash cuts, and it's literally just a copper dragon wearing a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> like, whatever, man. I'm not here for the drink. I'm here for the jokes. <laughs> yeah. You don't pay for the drinks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you pay for the uh, last. Well, you know what's a real joke? These fucking drinks you're giving me. <laughs> And it turns into like that weird Drag. it turns into like the, that weird Pixar short movie with the chest. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I wish I had I wish I had the animation skills to make that happen. <laughs> Meanwhile the bard is up on the stage like like what's the deal? <laughs> I'm missing the act. Can you just give me my fucking joke? <laughs> I would, I would a thousand percent play it as like open my night for a copper dragon. Like, like you gotta laugh your way in, buddy. You can't. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Fucking uh, copper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love copper dragons. I was like, I was, I was kind of, I was going, like, I don't know how I feel about copper dragons, but they're great. <laughs> uh, I, that's how I feel about most of these metallic dragons. Like, like when you read in the games, the chromatic dragons, they don't. They don't seem as, I guess, intricate or, like, as developed. Detailed, maybe? Yeah, maybe. But, like, I think it has to do with the fact that they're they're mostly good aligned. Mm-hmm. You know? But so but at least a lot of room for the, like, light-hearted hearted role play and adventure type yeah, stuff, yeah. you know? Well, it's like, it's like, yeah, the chromatic dragons, like, they, uh, they, like, almost break it down to a point. Like, this is how they're going to act in this situation. Which is, like, great for... Like, if you want to roll, not role play, but like, if you want to play him like as a big bad monster. But it's like for a metallic dragon, I, I see the lack of information kind of freeing in a way. So that way you can kind of make yeah. it your own. Like, you yeah. know, like, like, like there probably is some guy's copper dragon out there that's like actually a good prankster and stuff like that. Like, ah, I'm going to flood the economy. <laughs> like, it's just a prank, bro. Like, you're the, the next three generations will get it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But then, like, but then they have schmucks like us. That's <laughs> like, you know, that is like, like a copper dragon's disguise is like a Groucho Marx mask. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I try to open my pajamas. I got my pajamas all over now. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! There's a, a joke for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man. God, I love copper dragons now. God, I would Fight. fucking love to have a copper dragon in a campaign that's just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's mostly in human form. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He, he's Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> he looks like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> What's the deal with kobolds? <laughs> what, what is the deal with kobolds? No, that was it. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh.
Yeah. Wow, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, gold drag. We gotta move on. We we, we spent like <sighs> okay. half of copper drag. All right, so so, so go, gold dragon. So we're going from <laughs> There's always one that we like particularly cling on to. Anyway, all right. So we go from <laughs> Copper Dragons, which are like the like cheery yucksters, like ha ha ha, like you know, actually, like he asked for like whole milk cream. Actually, I actually gave him oat milk cream. Mm. <laughs> like in his coffee, like I'm such he's a- gonna shit himself. <laughs> well, okay, I wasn't going that far, but. <laughs> So 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 then so then we have gold dragons, which are described as being a, despite the fact that they are like the most like splendid looking dragon, obviously because they're gold, they're the yeah. most aloof and grim. That is a quote from the mm-hmm. book. Like they are described as grim, and they like to be alone. They like to they. I would imagine that they probably don't talk a lot. They probably don't interact with a lot of people. And I think the reason why that is is because the gold dragon is obviously the strongest dragon of the metallics besides the platinum dragon, which there's no stat block for. <laughs> yeah. Because it's the strongest of the metallic dragon, it probably builds like an air of mystique around it where it's like, oh, this is a gold dragon. Like this is a God kind of like concept. And like, it even describes like in its layer effect, it's like, like there's like this shimmering like cloud of what's it yeah like gems sparkle and gleam around it and And there's like and there's like this uh beautiful but opalescent mist that like doesn't really obscure anything it just kind of like creates a sort of like backdrop and so so that way when you see this like gold dragon like unfurl from whatever it it layers from because it doesn't it doesn't have a specific um like terrain like unlike all the other dragons a gold dragon right 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 can just nest up wherever it feels like it that way that when this gold dragon like kind of unfurls from its um like resting spot like it's just like it's like whoa (laughs) like this like resplendent like awe-inspiring thing and then it's supposed to be like like i said awe-inspiring but also like a little scary you're like what okay why am i actually here (laughs) i kind of kind of forgot the whole reason why we wanted the gold dragons he wants he wants to give off that like that that celestial power Mm -hmm. like how dare you talk to me, mortal? Type situation. Well, not not really, not really a how dare you talk to me kind of a thing. But it's like, it's like my, like if I have to get involved in something, it needs to be worth my involvement. Like it needs to be right. like a world-ending kind of a thing. And right. And like I can I can totally see like like a, a DM if they like to play music or something like that. Like have like sort of like 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 a like a choir thing going on where it's like this like really ominous not ominous but also kind of like weirdly like All inspiring mesmerizing yeah. kind of a thing going on like i i like a copper dragon like it all all jokes are like allowed and all bets are off kind of thing but a gold dragon i would play incredibly seriously like if you're Same. if you're if you're messing with a gold dragon or like not messing but if you're interacting with a gold dragon it's like it's an event in of itself like like you even seeing a gold dragon even talking to a gold dragon would probably be something that's like you could tell your grandkids about <laughs> you yeah. know so that's all i gotta say anyways silver dragon <laughs> <laughs> no i mean i mean you're not wrong. It's the gold dragon is a gold coin. When you see a gold coin, it's it's amazing. It's beautiful. You you don't want to spend it. You know, like the ring, the precious. Right. So you want to like care for that moment. You want to like make it its own thing. Like it's a fucking golden dragon. Mm-hmm. It's made of gold. Like it's just the fact that you see that much gold around. It's inspiring. Let alone a living creature, a living creature that wears it. You know. Right. But they're also good aligned and helpful, and they you just have to convince them right. very, and, very well. <laughs> and it and and it could be something like in an, in like in an, in a, blah, 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 blah. let me try it again. It could be something like in an adventure setting, like there are rumors that there's a gold dragon somewhere right. like in the woods. Right. No one has ever actually seen it, but there are rumors. So just so just even finding it can be like a quest in of itself, and maybe it can like grant you something like not like a wish but like you know it can help you in some way shape or form and i think to also kind of drive the point home that a gold dragon is like almost like a deity like one of its layer actions is that it can like see into the future like it can glimpse into the future a little bit and it gets like 
advantage on all of its attacks and like saving throws and stuff like that kind of a thing. So it's like you can't really really get the jump on a gold dragon because it is like this like near omniscient kind of a, yeah, yeah. like creature. And it's and I think I think it would be something like it would incur like a heavy price if you were to like make a gold dragon angry or god help you if you kill a gold dragon <laughs> like 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 if there was some sort of like sin effect in like your in your world like that would be like no dude you do not kill a gold dragon <laughs> right 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 it could be like uh, if you remember like harry potter one the, with the with the unicorns you don't kill a unicorn it kills your soul like that type of stuff yeah like like it, it would be something like if you kill a gold dragon that's an immediate shift of your alignment like regardless right. of like because because you, you also have to think if you're gonna if you're gonna be role playing a gold dragon to where I like the thing is a justifiable part of it, a gold dragon will not do something that is overtly evil or cause like a good align adventurer to set out against it. Like it has to be something that's like the adventurer like is willing to kill a gold dragon just because it wants to. Like it's not like it's not like, oh you forced my hand kind of a thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> so I like gold dragons, <laughs> kind, of, kind, of, kind of because they're like the opposite of copper dragons, you know, like I can. Yeah, <laughs> the, they're 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 magnificent. They are. They're yeah, they're they're the strongest of the metallic dragons. And they're like I said, they. I, 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 I would I would say even seeing a gold dragon is worth is worthy of like legend, like kind of a thing. So I agree with that. So, Silver Dragons. What? That's it? You're not going to talk about Gold Dragon? <laughs> no, I mean, like, for as awesome as they are, like, what what is there, you know? You can talk to people in their, uh, in their, in their dreams? I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot of cool stuff about a Gold Dragon, but it's just not a lot of, like, what I would say is fun quote-unquote like it's a lot of like heavy like plot heavy stuff yeah yeah you know like probably stuff that like our group would not like wouldn't like want to spend a whole session <laughs> like dealing with a gold dragon you know but i would because gold dragons are fucking cool <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely you can definitely center an adventure on gold dragons though. oh yeah definitely no doubt so actually any 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 age ancient dragon any dragon any yeah. dragon but yeah, no, I can I, I I mean the weird thing is like I really don't see I really don't see how, how a gold dragon as, as odd as odd as it is, I really don't see how a gold dragon can be super central to a plot. Like unless like like I said, unless it's like a world ending kind of a thing. Where it's like we have to get this gold dragon, like, hey, we got all the other dragons here, we gotta get the gold dragon here to kinda like I don't right. know get Captain Summon Planet. Summon Batman or something? <laughs> 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 you know, that's that's just the only thing. Like, it, it I don't know. It, the the mystique kind of goes a little too far with a gold dragon in terms of that, where it's like, wait, why am I talking to a gold dragon again? Why don't I, wait, we, we need someone to fight, right? Let's just go get the bronze dragon. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I mean there, was a, there was a gold dragon in a dragon heist. This is also true. But like yeah, he was he was he was he was an adult dragon though. He wasn't an ancient. I don't think there's any ancient dragons in any of the <laughs> adventures. <laughs> Just because like I'm not throwing a level CR twenty five. Uh, Is it CR twenty five? I think so. Twenty four. Twenty four. Weak. <laughs> but yeah, also the metallic dragons are noticeably weaker than the um, chromatic dragons. Have you noticed that? Uh no. Because like, because like an ancient red dragon's like CR twenty seven or something like that, and like an ancient gold dragon's like CR twenty four. So it's like, okay, you're obviously not supposed to fight these metallic dragons. Whereas, you know, chromatic dragons they have the stats for fights. <laughs> like it's gonna be, yeah. like a, you know, it's gonna be like an epic struggle. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go on the silver dragons. Mm. <laughs> Your 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 least favorite, for what I understand. No, they're not my least favorite. Um, nah, I'm kidding. No, I mean they're they're goody two shoes. So, but aren't they all goody two shoes? 
No, no, no. I mean, like, Silver Dragons are the goody two-shoes of the goody two-shoes. Like, these these will be the people that's like, oh, you didn't give that bum a coin? He was a Silver Dragon. Ha ha. It's like, now I know you're... Mm. Now I know you're He's greedy. A, <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're also the ones that spend the most time as human form, right? Mm-hmm. Human form. Yeah, they love being in human form. They love interacting with people. They're, they're the most social of all the dragons. I love how they say that, like, you know, every now and then they have to, like go back to be a dragon to like mate and like have kids and whatever mm-hmm. and then they they forget about time and when they come back like their companions are like old and dead or dead and <laughs> old or dead <laughs> you know it's pretty like man that that sucks they're like hey how's like how's gertrude doing she's been dead for 70 years what <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, like, like we we kind of we kind of established talking about chromatic dragons that like dragons are pretty much immortal. <laughs> yeah, like they they're they're kind of like lobsters. Like a lobster. Yeah, <laughs> they're kind of like lobsters. <laughs> like we don't know how long they live because we killed them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, does that mean that we can have an ancient lobster? We just never had it. Oh my god. <laughs> Cr twenty seven. An ancient red lobster. <laughs> <laughs> with its with its <laughs> with its two D twelve cheddar bay biscuits, <laughs> <laughs> yummy, <laughs> delicious. It's going, it's going to use its butter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hungry. Anyways, um, so yeah, civil dragon. I don't like lobster. I'm more of a crab guy. Anyways, <laughs> I, can, I, I can get behind it. Yeah, it's just lobster's too rich. Anyways. Too rich for my blood, <laughs> but yeah, no these these would be the, the this I, I could see a silver dragon like it would be the kind of like step in for like a small town like thing, like probably not only to be, like say that I got the experience, but also because it just like it likes to help people and um, yeah, and actually the dragon that um that started the uh, the paladin order and Strahd it was a silver dragon just purely because oh that's right yeah you know, just purely because like hey. These guys need my help. They're good. These things are bad. All right, let's help them out. <laughs> just like, you know. I'm, <laughs> it's, a va- it's a vampire. All of a sudden, it's a good vampire ass. You know what? I'm just going to start this holy order at night just because, you know, just like. <laughs> I, I got nothing. Which, I mean, for most, for most humans, that's more than enough reason to, like, fucking follow a silver dragon. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I got nothing planned this Saturday. So, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's just start and this, then he, this unending war with a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> and then he died. And then he's. <laughs> You can bring it back, but still. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like it's it's weird because it's like this is. I, I know we keep saying it, but this is the only like actual like good good dragon, you know? Right, right, right. Like it will it will help it will help Grandma cross the street. <laughs> yeah, it'll have a little like merit badge. Like it, it's <laughs> it's an actual Boy Scout. Like it is like like this yeah. this is like the superman of dragons you know where it's like hey you know <laughs> like like i couldn't have done it without you you guys are the real heroes kind of a thing and like right and like the look it might be look at like he might be the master <laughs> <laughs> he might be the one that is able to if to convince other dragons to join whatever you know catastrophe catastrophe is happening in the world mm-hmm. or to have the humans you know he he would probably be like if there was ever an event where you have to like for whatever reason get like a coalition of all five metallic dragons like he he might be the one to kick it off like he'd be like hey i'm willing to help but we're gonna need a lot more firepower literally um <laughs> so yeah so let's like i know where these guys are like i'll tag along i'll help you out i'm not gonna be an Listen, a- i'm not gonna be an ancient silver th- dragon because i'm not gonna like steamroll the fights for you <laughs> I, I, I got a couple of bronze dragon friends that are more than willing to fight those will be the easy ones the copper one is going to take a little bit of convincing but you always, as long as you laugh at this joke he'll be he'll be on board look, the gold dragon however look i brought i brought a i brought the box set of kirby enthusiasm for the copper dragon that's gonna that's <laughs> the gold dragon is gonna be a bit of a problem but we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there <laughs> 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 so, um, but yeah, no, I could, I, I could definitely see a silver dragon being like the quest giver as opposed to yeah. the end goal of a quest, you know? Yeah. Um, but it, again, and then at the, at the end of the adventure, it was me. I'm the cover dragon. It was me all along. <laughs> What? I'm the he's a human. Oh. He's, he's a human shape. He's given the quest. Oh, okay. It's like, I, I, I'm the silver dragon this whole time. Like, yeah, we kind of, <laughs> yeah, we kind of know. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, you kind of look like a silver dragon, just minus the dragon parts. Like you have a mohawk in the shape of a silver dragon. <laughs> also, your shadow is the shape of a dragon. <laughs> yeah, like you're not you're not fooling anybody, dude. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, I thought I was doing a good job, <laughs> but it, but but true to its um, true to its Boy Scout. Uh, Oh God, nature! It wants history. Like it, its treasure hoard is history for some reason. Like books, coins, like minted in like faraway kingdoms, kind of a thing. And it's just like what a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> a nerd that can kick your ass, though. I mean, it really. <laughs> this one, if 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 a bronze dragon is like is like the beach bod guy the silver dragon is the one getting its like face kicked in with sand by the bronze yeah. dragon <laughs> and then taking the silver dragon's girlfriend <laughs> hey man there's enough space what, in the beach for all of us <laughs> we can just talk about it <laughs> like, yeah, shut the fuck up nerd <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I, like, a silver dragon's good and all, but it just, like, it doesn't, for some reason, weirdly enough, because it interacts so much with people, it doesn't kind of give, to me, it doesn't kind of give the same effects like other dragons do. Where it's like, like the, the unapproachable feeling of, like, godlike power. Yeah. Where, yeah. yeah. It, and, I mean, but also in the same respect, it's like, don't mess with people because you don't know there could be a silver dragon. Right. <laughs> that is that is good for murder hubbos. Yeah, it really would be. Where it's like, hey, that bartender that you tried to kill, he, he was an, actually an ancient silver dragon that's just doing this like as a hobby. Um, yeah, he was he was bored one weekend. Yeah, he was he was he was bored one century, so he like you know so, decided to do this. So the rogue that tried to steal something, I, I need to see some Constitution saves, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get ice breath. <laughs> Yeah, it was oh, it, was, it was more one weekend, so it, was, it tried to do a startup on, on bars. Um, I don't know. I think that's I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. So, so the the conclusion is the best metallic dragon is the copper dragon, hand down. <laughs> the one I look forward to the most is the copper for just pure fun. <laughs> Copper dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Copper dragon. Yeah. Every- for epic, uh, for epic pain, gold dragon slash silver dragon. Actually, no, silver dragon will be for for like a, you can do a lot with the silver dragon and the short adventure. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I, yeah, I, I can sure. see a silver dragon and a short adventure being good. Like a brass dragon. That I would imagine that would actually. I would say a brass dragon would probably be like an actual random encounter. Like, like you know, yeah. like there's a random encounter table. Hey, one's a brass dragon. Now this is your problem. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the, now, the, now the quest is trying to get him to go away without killing you. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think bronze dragons will be for like that one game that everybody wants to test out, like an epic war. Mm-hmm. Like a war game situation. Yeah, like, hey, I have all these mechanics for siege warfare. Which, by the way, is something we might talk about in another episode. We were kind of <laughs> <laughs> um, so not before not before we talk about maps. When are are we ever actually going to talk about maps? Like, no, Why not? seriously. Like, are we act- okay? Next episode, we're going to talk about maps. You're, That's going to be our next. You're episode. a fucking liar. We are not, I'm not talk lying. About maps. We're going to talk about maps next episode. No, episode thirty-five. Mark my words. Episode thirty-five. We're gonna talk about maps. Even if even if Andrew decides to talk about something else, I'm gonna talk about maps the whole time. <laughs> Alright, so the sea uh, hag is I think my least. Okay, favorite so hag. maps. We have no. the grid system and the hexes. Uh hexes. <laughs> uh hexes are great for like war, but like listen to me, okay? Like in a regular every day, do you really have the patience for hexes? Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. <laughs> G- grid, more like get rid of <laughs> <laughs> well that was first page <laughs> anyways <laughs> all right so that's, so that's dragons in short metallic dragons suck chromatic dragons all the way <laughs> yep wait what no <laughs> no I metallic just, dragons are I, great I, I i just think i i think the reason why the metallic dragons are so like bereft of information because it's like hey they're good you're probably not going to be encountering these guys Right, right, right. as much <laughs> as a metallic dragon and, and when you or do like they're, they're not and, and when you do, like, they're they're not... Wait, chromatics? 
you're not going to be encountering metallic dragons as much as the chromatic right. dragon. I messed that up. Right. That's my bad. Yeah. And then when you when you do encounter metallics, most for the most part, you, you should be fine unless you're a dick. Yeah. Like they're yeah. they're going to be a major NPC. I mean, it's like it's like think about it. Like, have you ever played like any of the Dark Souls games? Yes. Okay, so it's like, hey, here's this major NPC. He's a good guy. He's a merchant. Like you talk to him. Do not attack him. Oh fuck, you attacked him. Okay. Um, quick, I need I need sad blocks real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Play the boss. Play play the boss music. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, why is there a boss bar? Oh, because you attacked the guy that's supposed to be your, your friend. Like kind of a thing. It, you know. So, <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, like the, these guys are just, in in a normal like sword and board like you know, vanilla adventure. These guys are the good guys. So it's like, they're not going to have all of these things building up to like opposition because you're not supposed to be opposing them. Whereas a chromatic dragon, like dealing with a chromatic dragon is an adventure of itself. And just being in its lair in, and then fighting a chromatic dragon is a session each in of itself. Kind of a thing. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, dragons are awesome. I still think I think I still think chromatic dragons are cooler than metallic dragons. Well, I mean, yeah, because you're meant to like run them as a boss fight, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it makes sense. I I, I just you, you have to you have to put a lot more work into wedging a metallic dragon into an adventure than you do with a. I mean, just the just the layer actions or the layer descriptions is in and of itself a dungeon already. Yeah. And it's like, and I think that's probably the whole reason why. Or chromatics. Yeah, I think that's the whole reason why they did the whole like, oh, it can't be bothered with this, uh, like these sort of events for a metallic dragon because it's just like, why aren't you solving the problem? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like kind of. Yeah. Thing. If you, if you convince, <laughs> if you convince a gold dragon to go and, um, you know, find the 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 hidden lord shield in Baldur's Gate. You're gonna have like no issues at all. Yeah. The players are not gonna do shit. Yeah, you well, know. I mean, why would they? The, so it, you know, it's like I, I I get it. I understand, but it's just like yeah, it's like you get you got to walk a fine line mm-hmm. when when you play a metallic dragon. It's like you can't give too much, but it's got to be something. It's like okay, I'll help you, but you have to do like this heroic like kind of a like right. Herculean task, and then maybe I don't right. know, I'll give you like a plus one to your saving throws or some crap. <laughs> I didn't say how I was going to help you. I said I'm going to help you. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Uh, yes. Uh, but with that, though, it's been about a month or so. Mm-hmm. Do you have any uh, campaign highlights? Do I? Like to talk about? <laughs> no. We have how many? No. We had, like, what, three sessions since our last episode? Did we? I think so. Okay. Because I only really remember the last episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we introduced my new character. Um, he completely shit the bed. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's like it's to the point where I should have just probably just said as a rogue. <laughs> you can, he's doing fine. I don't know, but still, um, <laughs> we we got to we got to Fort. What's it called? Moose Knuckle. Uh, <laughs> Fort Fort Knuckle. Yeah, Fort yeah Fort Knuckles. Um, <laughs> yes, Fort Knuckles. <laughs> and we dealt with some people there. We've met a horrifying flesh goblin. <laughs> like, like the artwork actually kind of made me wretch on screen, like on, on, on stream where it's like, I saw it. I was like, <laughs> cause it had like a hose that was like coming from the side and it like went into yeah, its mouth. Name, and his name was Mickey, by the way, you guys never, it's name was interacted. Mickey. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> And I was gonna, I was gonna ask questions too, like on the last session. I'm like, "Hey, why are you helping us?" And everyone's like, "No, into the demon grinder." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we went to Fort uh, 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 Knuckles. Yeah, Fort Fort uh, Sonic featuring Knuckles, um, and and we got our we got our asses handed to us by a bunch of red hats or red caps, whatever. Red caps and red mad caps and red caps. Yeah, mad caps, red caps. Trump supporters. Yeah. <laughs> Mac 2020. No, stop. He, he, it's fraud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's just walk away, man. Let's walk away. Just, just, you, know, you can't fuck him. <laughs> Lock her up. Lock her up. It's been eight years. <laughs> Butter emails. <laughs> and 
anyways. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yes, because uh, if I remember correctly, Quintessence wanted to fix one of the one of the red caps by bi- broken bicycle yeah motorcycle yeah and, and, and they're just like don't touch my garbage and we're like let us <laughs> fix it like, no, ah. and like, and so, you guys want to get the hit so the more the more the guys the, the more it was one red cap at first yeah the more he got louder the more his friends started like gathering and, and, we're, and we're like we could take these guys and they started doing like ridiculous things like okay just put the fucking bike down <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 so then we got this demon grinder, which one of us found out. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know who came up to this conclusion. Found out that it goes a max of 12 miles Shut per hour. Shut the fuck up, Andrew. <laughs> 12 miles per hour. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like, 100 feet that doesn't really sound like a whole lot. And I'm like, it didn't. When I said it out loud, I'm like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but whatever. I mean, in game, 100 feet's a lot. <laughs> but like, but but like for in, a freaking war machine. I if, if it was something like three, well, I mean, like, cause like, cause like, if you deal with like actual like real world, like the game kind of breaks when you deal with like real world speeds, where it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's supposed to go like five hundred feet per every six seconds, like, holy shit, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I, I I get that for game purposes, I, I understand that, but still, it's just really this high speed chase, and we're just like, <laughs> we're going like the no, pace so, of a bicycle, so, so, so we're doing. I'm describing this high speed chase and I'm like, oh yeah, the sand through your wind, through your hair, blah, 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 all this stuff. It's supposed to be like and then this like, epic like Mad Max kind of a thing where like people like yeah. hanging off the demon grinder like, ah. And then like <laughs> mid fight, fucking Andrew's like, oh guys, I looked it up. 100 feet for, for six seconds is actually 12 feet an hour. So we're going really slow. Yeah, it's 12. <laughs> it's, and he's completely broken. It was just, it, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> just like, you you should have said it after. Well... <laughs> I mean, it also kind of made it funny because, like, I said that as like it was somebody's turn and they were like trying to like drift. <laughs> so like, so like the I, so like the drift kind of became like a really Quintessa's awkward gay turn. Like two people on like mopeds, like yeah. <laughs> all the way to the point. The action was really up close with the camera and it looked really fast and epic. <laughs> And then after Andrew opened his mouth, the camera just zooms out across the screen. And it's just like two mopeds. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like Quintess is with like a fan in front of her to make it look like she's going faster than she actually is. Um, but then the play of the game of that session was that Howard pulled a fucking e-brick. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, okay, I'm just going to say it from my perspective. Don't reveal anything, but I'm just saying from my perspective. Apparently, every time you mess with a vehicle, there's like a random encounter or like a random happening thing. And right. so Howard's like, how far away is this vehicle? <laughs> like, oh, it's such and such far away. Can I use my mage hand to pull the e-brake on it? You're like, totally. So he did it. <laughs> you rolled and the whole thing flipped. And it just like <laughs> smashed the enemies to paste. Luckily, and I, was like, luckily I, I got was like, flung off. Varric made his deck safe. And I was just <laughs> what I love is that I was doing the I was doing the math, I was running the dice, and like uh, you know, how much does 12 oh, because I, I I did the math for 1,200 pounds, right? right? And I'm like, oh, it's only, oh, it's only like a uh, hundred hit points or whatever. It feels like it should be more. And you guys are like, no, it's 12,000 pounds. And it was like oh. 616 hit points of damage, it was, of bludgeoning damage. It was to the point that like when he rolled it, roll 20 was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like trying to like roll all those dice at the same time. <laughs> And yeah, oh, it's just, I hope you like. I hope you like my descriptions of what happened to the baddies. <laughs> oh, dude, it just it just flipped and just and there's just there's wreckage and just like three streaks of blood. <laughs> and like and like like my barbarian and Varric were like that could have been us. <laughs> and it was like, hey, that's cool, you did that. You need to warn us the next time. <laughs> Yeah, and just so you know, because I did a 100, and anything above or below a 50, it was going to crash the thing, right? Mm-hmm. But that 50% chance was only because the driver was frightened and not on the wheel. Yeah, yeah, there, there was, uh, what's, I think the bar did, like, Phantasmal Killer on the yeah. driver, so he was, like, freaking out. And there's there's literally no one at the wheel. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love the fact that you guys were, like, trying to do, because you, you all had your positions in the car, like, it's mm-hmm. harpoons, the, the meat grinder in the front or whatever. And like for like half the fight, you guys are like, oh well, I, I can't see him, so I can't do anything. Yeah. 
And then at one point, I'm like, you guys, you guys know that you can jump from one car to the other. No, 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 no. What? Okay, so, so what it was is that like, the harpoon like launchers were doing their jobs. Like, uh, what's it? It it was glyph on one and mm-hmm. uh, Varric on the other. And then there was Oren on the wrecking ball, and everyone was doing great. Like they were like contributing to the fight. And I was on the meat oh, grinder, that's right. and I was on the meat grinder. Like ha ah, ha! Like every chance I get, I rolled like crap every time. So it's just like you were on the front. So, like it was very <laughs> yeah. It, it was on the front, and the guy was on the side, and sometimes behind us. So I'm just like sitting there, just like. <laughs> and, then like, and, like, I, and then I had like two chances to actually use a meat grinder. And both times, I'm it, it, it missed. I'm like, okay, fuck this. And I just like undid my seatbelt and just threw myself. Like I am the meat grinder. Like, over, over to the other car, which worked great because those wet rats did not see that. Gun. They're like, what? The f-? Yeah, they're they're all, they're like busy like loading their harpoons, and all of a sudden they just see like a barbarian mid flight. Just like, oh. <laughs> Witness me. <laughs> and, then, and then I felt, and then there was like a really weird thing where I was like straddling the wrecking ball, and I had to make strength saves and stuff like that. And I fell off, much to my benefit, because then the thing immediately flipped after the next turn. I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. At first, I was like, oh, how am I going to catch up? And then, like two seconds after that, I just <laughs> destruction. And, <laughs> like, and Carpock, that's the name of my barbarian. Carpock's like. Well, this kind of just solved itself. <laughs> and, <it> just, <laughs> <laughs> and then you throttle to the front. Yeah, like, just kind of, kind of, kind of a light jog because like there's there's no immediacy anymore. The problem's been solved. <laughs> yep. But then the uh, next one. Oh man, that next fight. Okay, so so it's another session. Yeah. Yeah. So we so we're on this hill and there's like these tortured souls like. Like a t- uh, like being impaled by the, like these metal trees, which by the way, every piece of artwork he showed me, I'm like that's a good fucking album cover. <laughs> 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 and, and so and so we're talking to like presumably who's the main guy of these knights that like betrayed um, El Torrell and stuff like that. Like the, like there like there's a long like story about how like these guys pretty much kind of caused what happened <laughs> to happen, and and we were talking to the main guy, and when we were talking to the main guy who was a vampire um, when we were talking to him, all of a sudden this dude shows up <laughs> riding a nightmare. And we're like, okay, boss fight. So we all get ready for the boss fight and we're all preparing. We're all getting ready for stances completely. You're, you're, you're you are, you, you are all um, ready in action. Yeah. Completely forgetting like the 30 plus sturges that made <laughs> up this place. And so if, if it weren't for those sturges, this would have gone completely different because we're all like readying our actions like okay when he gets range we're gonna do this and these sturges just just, like blanket us and they just like they they do massive damage and because like because like my guy is not raging because I'm like I can't rage because if I have to rage I have to attack and there's there's not range right right. so because I'm not raging and I have like kind of a low AC because of it like I'm taking massive amounts of damage (laughs) Barrick's taking huge amounts of damage Glyph took like fucking one point of damage (laughs) Uh, Quintessence is fine. Orin's okay, and, but but like but like the two like tanks are like getting like they're we're getting like pulverized by these sturges. Yeah, and and the main baddie's still not here because he's like flying in with his horse. Yeah, so and like he's three hundred feet away. So it's so I mean so so the wizard he casts um what was it like hypnotic, hypnotic pattern Hip- mm-hmm. and the bard does like the the bard does the the fire. <laughs> The wall of fire right next to me, so I have to make a tech save. <laughs> and, and so, and so that's kind of like more or less taking care of the sturges, but the damage has already been done. And by the time this guy gets here, it's pretty much just he just has to clean up, and that's exactly what he does. He just, he just like okay, just jabs Varric, he goes down, jabs me, I go down. Everyone else like tries to jump up, and and Jose quickly remembering how grease works goes and murders the fucking wizard right then and there <laughs> <laughs> it's just and and i think it was like one attack brought him down to like negative 20 or some crap like that. <laughs> and and i and, and so it, it became it was it, it was a tpk like we all we, yep. we all went down like it was a soft tpk it wasn't like a hard tpk like a hard tpk is like no we are actually dead 
Um, we're going to be playing a new campaign next week. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It was a soft TBK. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was like a soft TBK because we're not assholes. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> like, we want to actually continue the story. Um, which, by the way, I loved, like, the atmosphere afterwards where it's like we all wake up and now we're on the trees and it's, like, really quiet and desolate and Lulu's gone. Like, she was taken by hell wasps and, and we're all just, like, impaled and we have to, like, pry ourselves off kind of a thing. And, and so, and so like, I'm talking to Jose and I'm like, is this guy even relevant to the plot? And you're like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, just some chuckle fuck just comes and murders us. <laughs> yep. And so we're, we're, I, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. I made sure, I made sure you guys felt like you lost because you lost Lulu and you lost your war, your fucking demon grinder. Mm-hmm. Because like like my character okay. my character cried like curled up into a ball and cried. <laughs> but from from my perspective, this is what it was. Because I was like, oh, this guy's get, he. I'm not gonna tell you how much life he's had because he may or may not come back. But like he doesn't. He, I was like, I was thinking like he may not. Like I, I thought, I thought you guys were gonna steamroll through him like you do with everything else, right? I already had backup as to what was gonna happen if he got down to a certain amount of life at a, at a certain amount of time, right? Because mm-hmm. like you guys are just. I expected you guys to jump on the mid grinder and like try to go back and forth or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> forward, reverse, forward. <laughs> I mean, I don't I know. Mean, that's, to, that's what I was expecting. To be fair, like, I don't know what it is about our group, or maybe it's just 5e in general, with, like the power creep. But yeah, like, fights are either to the death or not a challenge. There's like no yeah, yeah, in yeah. between. Um, yeah. And, and, and so I had like prepare, I had a backup, I had all this stuff happening, all this, whatever. And then you guys are like, the fight starts, and I roll for everybody, and I put the Sturges on the freaking uh, time tracker, or the, 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 the initiative tracker, you know? And you're all like, I'm going to sit over here, and when he gets to my reach, I'm going to smack him, smack him with my halberd. And I'm like, okay, you do that. And then everybody does that, and I'm like, I have like, almost like 50 Sturges in this freaking map. Playing Devil's Advocate, I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that we rolled an initiative at the end of the last encounter. And then we just picked it right back up. Like, we That's didn't true. re-roll initiative or anything. We just like, That's okay, true. we already rolled initiative. The last, the, last, the, last, the last session. Yeah, so let's just go. And, like, the real, it's like, it's like the, sur- the, the surges were there. Like, they were present. But we did not think they were going to have that much of an impact on the fight. And everyone was focused on this dude, this, yeah. this guy in, like, spiky black armor which, riding a flaming horse. <laughs> which mean, worked, which, which worked excellently for me because at first, I, I mean, they're, like, two hit points each. Yeah. They're, they're not hard to kill. And I, and I roll. I was running really well for because this doesn't usually happen whenever I want the fight to actually mean something. Um, and I was rolling. I, like, for you, I think it was, like, what, like, 17 Sturges? Mm. And it did, like, a lot of them actually hit in your AC because you weren't raging. Yeah. So, like, a lot of... I think the first time... The first... You took, like, a total of, like, 27 damage right away. Yeah. Same with Varric. And I was like, holy shit. And then with the homeboy, usually when there was a big, ba- a big bad guy... Two things happen. I remember his skills, like the stuff that he can like, I actually remember the things that he can actually do. And the second thing is I was like, the wizard always fucks me up. So this time I'm going after him. <laughs> you know? D- DM 101 always go after your spellcasters. <laughs> yeah. Like it's yeah. it's really nine times out of ten, it actually kind of becomes a fight between the spellcaster and the big bad, and the other guys are just in the way. <laughs> like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so and and I was like, fuck it. I, I took my chances. I let people get a attack, attack opportunity of me. And it worked. And I'm like, holy shit. Towards the end, I'm like, I wasn't I wasn't planning on you guys dying. What the fuck am I going to do? And then I, well, the tree thing did, the tree stuff was in the book. Like every time you hit him, a tree will sprout with your name on it and, and, and your sin, which was the Sultan and Officer. Um, that was in the book, but that, that was it. It was supposed to just end there. Um, and I'm like, holy shit, it's a TPK. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, after he kills him, he picks them up and puts them in the in the tree because you guys were also freeing some of the souls too right um so i think i think it played out well and then towards the end after the fight like the music stopped and it was just like sound of wind and whatever it was just really quiet really ominous and just really windy and it 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 made for a really because it was like it was like we we lost it every single turn and this was like yeah and this was this was a nobody that we lost. I mean, not not like a not like a nobody, but like no one of like consequence. Like we did not go into this fight knowing who this person was. Like there was yeah. no build up, and we just got like our asses handed to us. So it kind of really right. like 
it, to me it was like a really like sobering effect and 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 honestly the dice were just not with us in that fight yeah like like, like the, you were rolling well we were not rolling well mm-hmm. <laughs> so. and, 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 and i, and I want to clarify it's not like he's not like a nobody he does have but like when it comes to like the whole story overall like i think if it would have been different you guys would just take him down Taking him down. Yeah. It would have taken a while and it would have been like a hard fight, but you guys would have taken it down. Right. But it, but it's like there was nobody like, hey, like, watch out. Right, watch right. out. You're not, you're not, you're not fighting the demon, whatever, yeah. like, captain. Like, or, there was no one to say, like, hey, you know, be careful of a man astride of a flaming horse kind of a thing. Like, you know, it's just like, hey, who's this guy? Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And, it, and it, then I was, and then I, you guys lost your meat grinder, your demon grinder. Um, Luckily, you know, you guys managed to make a sand glider for the meantime. I actually I actually feel jealous for you. Of what? Oh, sorry. I feel jealous of you because, like, I love those moments where things don't go according to plan in such a way where it's like, oh, the plot has shifted <laughs> now. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. like it's like we're, we're like these plot points like organically happen. And you're like, mm-hmm. oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it played out, it played out well, and I'm really excited to 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 see what I'm gonna do with that guy, um, because again, he was not supposed to like. Please don't, please don't bring him. Well, the thing is also that like Varric was, Varric was, I don't, don't want to fight. Varric was very conflicted about leaving all those souls behind. Yeah, you what? know, because that was the other thing. Like there was no sound other than the screaming of the knights on the tree, mm-hmm. and you guys rescued like half of them. And Varric was very conflicted about leaving the the hill without rescuing the rest. But you guys were like, no, 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 we can't fight this guy again. Yeah, because I mean, also you guys had like four levels of exhaustion. Yeah, we were we were fucked up at the end of that fight. I mean, yeah. like I mean, like we needed like we needed like all the long rests. <laughs> like we needed like a mm-hmm. week off after that fight. And and and, it, and I'm like I I kind of like that dynamic too, where Varric was like, no, 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 we need to go back for them. And then the rest of us. I was kind of like, I know I, we will go back from. Don't worry about it. But the rest was like, no, 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 don't because he, that guy might come back. And we cannot yeah. take him again, not right now. And so, yeah. so I, I, yeah. I really like that party dynamic where we were all just kind of like debating. And, and, and so it eventually just kind of became like, don't worry, we're gonna come back. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna rest up. We're gonna get stronger. We're gonna come back. <laughs> I, and that was, I and that was all you guys. Like I love that. I'm like yes, yes. <laughs> so. I'm I'm excited, I'm excited to see what happens next because Lulu got taken to a hell, a nest of hell wasps. I got some good hits in. <laughs> you did actually. The one who did more damage was actually Glyph with his uh, phantasmal killer thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he in one in one hit, obviously. Yeah. Like, yeah, he took like forty-seven plus damage on him. Jesus. Yeah, it was brutal. He rolled really well on that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Vernus has been has been great. It's been Every, fun. It's great. I was like, I don't know if it was because of the holidays or what, but like towards, I was feeling very deflated. Um, when it, when it was about to run that that uh, campaign, uh, actually the previous campaign, I was pretty deflated too. Um, I don't know what it was, but then after like this session that just happened, I'm like, yes, shit is going down. Well, I think I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's like, it's like you you kind of, it's weird because like when I DM. Like I'll, I'll be excited there and there and there are some there are some sessions which is not feeling it. It's nothing like the group has done or anything like that. It's just maybe you know, yeah. having a bad day at work or whatever. But then when things don't go according to plan, that's when you're like, oh, <laughs> and then like, and yeah, then, like yeah, yeah. something happens and you're like, OK, mm-hmm. now now here comes the real creativity where it's like where it's like if things kind of follow the beats that you've not like expected to lay out, but yeah, have laid out. And you're like okay <laughs> you know then this happens yeah. and it's, it's like you already you, you already planned for all of that and while you were excited for uh, it's, at least for me i was excited for for it when i was like really when i was reading it and like the couple days before the campaign like before the that specific session happened really excited but once it happens i don't know like i'm happy that it happened and went through you guys enjoyed it but it, it for me specifically it's like oh okay yeah yeah that, and that's a, that's actually a really big thing for me to learn it's like don't don't worry like don't expect the expectations just 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 play just see what happens and let it yeah. kind of, when for me the real joy is when it starts to grow organically and like like, yes. and like your pcs will latch on this one 
particular thing, even though like you didn't think it was going to have any consequence, you know, yeah. and it's just like, oh, okay, okay, we, we can lean into that. Now we can work with that. Yep. So like, yep. it's like the whole tree thing with Varric, like that, is that going to haunt him? Like, cause he was a soldier and he like, he saw these other soldiers like suffering. Like, well, he, how will he deal with this kind of thing? Meanwhile, yep. Karpok got the shit kicked out of him and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of like dealing with that in his own way. And everyone lost Lulu. We kind of like Lulu, but then we saw the artwork for her. So I don't know. Her opinion's kind of shit. I don't know. I show you the artwork from day one the, the original artwork he showed us versus the river sticks artwork it's two totally different things man it's the exact same she's just flipped this way it's but also she's huge <laughs> like like we were expecting like a little she's tiny, a baby elephant but, how thing do you think okay you say okay of magic flying baby elephant we think it's like a cute little like puppy okay but we, i guess i think it would be the actual <laughs> size of a fucking baby elephant. okay uh, listen okay she's a cute little elephant it was the perspective, you know? She was closer to the camera than the boat. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah we, we, that's what we were saying. Like, oh, it's just forced perspective, guys. <laughs> she's actually... Yeah, she's now, actually, now you got me doubting. Hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Let's see what her actual size is. Huge. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Huge. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I'm actually... I'm, I'm pretty excited. But, like, every, um, everything about that fight went wrong in the best way possible. Because it was even, like, Glyph was like, okay, I got one spell slot left. Can I either, like, try to hurt this guy or should I save? Oh, no, 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 no. He was like, he was like, can I just, like, try to bring everyone back or should I save Lulu? We're all like, just save Lulu, man. And yeah. try to save Lulu and it went and it didn't work out. It's just like, fuck, we put all of our eggs in that one basket. <laughs> it's just, it, it, every. It, it was a really good like end of the return I mean end of the uh... ah god fuck what, what was the second Star Wars movie Return of the Jedi em- Empire Strikes Back Empire Strikes Back yeah we're, we're like this is kind of like us at our lowest right now because we have yeah. nothing <laughs> like we literally just have ourselves and like the little sand gliders that quintessence made out of the wreckage of the demon grinder. I know it, it, it felt, it felt great. Like I could have ran it that way. It just played out and that, so nicely. And that's the beauty of D and D like this stuff happens just organically and you just got to It's just like, man, <laughs> it's so awesome when it does happen. Uh, but she's a small creature. So she is tiny. She's a, she's a, no, actually she's like yeah, more in size. <laughs> I'm a, a little smaller than that. But anyways, um, yes, uh, no, it played out really well. I'm really excited to see what happens next. You guys should definitely join us uh, live because uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, anything? Oh, oh, we have a new book announced. Um, Candle Keep Mysteries. Ooh. Candle Keep Mystery, which is uh, a, co- a, band company, a collection of uh, short adventures, short mystery adventures, Isn't which is like great. Something, it's like 17 adventures or something. It's a lot of them. Yeah. Which makes me happy because it makes me feel like they're actually short yeah. to play and like one go because even like uh yawning portal like they were short in the sense that you can find finish them in like four sessions yeah. but i want like short short like maybe two sessions stops if everybody like role plays a yeah. lot like this this would be you like know? a either like a two session thing or like a one like long day like hey this is a like right like we're having like an event or something like that boom we're gonna yeah. play a candle keep mystery kind of a thing yeah um, i will i want to if once it comes out and we know the actual length of these adventures because if it is that many and if it's actually short adventures i want to encourage everybody to like run at least one I, like i, I want to encourage i want to encourage like uh um because alex has done it i'm uh, i know he'll have fun with it but i want to encourage howard i think howard will do great i think howard would be a good dm yeah, I think so too. <laughs> there, um, there, there was a lot of moments where he was saying like how he would lo- like like allow certain rules of cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So, no. Yeah. No. I, I, um, I think Howard would be a good DM. I agree. I agree with the that only 100%. problem is is that like having everybody get Candle Keep Mysteries on Roll Twenty. No, 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 no. I was thinking like I can buy it on my account and then just give you guys the logins. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, we could do that. Too. I mean, yeah. Um, obviously, is that game the, That sounds like communism. Shut up. <laughs> Actually, no. If, if if it's soon, soon, it'll probably be on your, like, we can buy it on your account and you can share with everybody. That's true. Because I have actively, I have Avernus active there. So I don't want people to, like, mm. I, I don't think anybody would, but I don't want to give the temptation I to. I don't think we'd be playing Candle Keep Mysteries that soon because we have, Heather wants to run Salt Marsh. That's true. And then I want to run Rhyme. So that's like three years. <laughs> also, if they, uh, yeah. Also, if they do yawning, like yawning portal, they might do the adventure separate. Yeah. So 
Yeah, so you can buy like the individual adventures. Oh, that would be cool. That 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 yeah. would be really neat if they did it like that. It might not be like right at the beginning. They might do it like after. But I'm kind of hoping this is this is just me. This is my personal opinion. I'm kind of hoping they don't do what they did in Ghost of Salt Marsh, where it's like each adventure is loosely tied to one another. Like I want these to be strictly individual, con- like contained like episodes, like 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 X Files kind of a thing. Yeah. Where it's like no, no. beginning, middle, and end, like, boom, pff, new cast. Like 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 Tales <laughs> of the Yawning Portal. Yeah. I want that, but with smaller, shorter adventures. Yeah. You know, just like hey, you who know? sold this guy's book? Oh, it was him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> see you all next episode yeah. <laughs> um but yes um any other news recently you know happy new years to everybody 2021 we made it um we, we made it, it. yay uh, uh, um you got tasha's yeah. cauldron, tasha's cauldron of everything tasha's and cauldron of everything i have yet to but <laughs> I, I i listen i went through it and it was and my uh, in my opinion it was a Sanathar's Guide to Everything. Part two. But Water Down. That's what I've heard. I, I, yeah. I, I've heard a lot. It's not It's not. Ter- it's not as bad as like Sword Coast where it was like, it was, why are you buying this? Like, totally get it. There's Sword some cool Co- shit in there. Sword Coast Adventures guy was like pure fluff. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Because like, cause, like I, I, I read it. I'm like, there's n- not really a lot of gain here. Nope. Not. <laughs> it's all like backgrounds and like. Uh, what happens where and where's mm-hmm. what at and that's pretty much it. That, that, but like that, that's Tasha's, yeah. No, you, no. So Tasha's has a lot more, and I think it's it's, it's worth it. I think people are just complaining because they like to complain. Also, oh, um, it's def, it's definitely not like a DMG two or anything like well, that, which is what everybody seems to want. Because I was talking to Robert about it, um, and I feel like everybody seems to want a Dungeon Master Guide Part Two. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think. I'm not saying that the criticisms are invalid. I because because like I, I showed you that web DM video and like I I, I think I think they've kind of hit the nail on the head there. Like we want more rules, not yeah. rulings. Like we want more rules, and so that mm-hmm. way we can we we can not have to keep coming up with rules and stuff like that, like on the fly, and like what if they don't work mechanically, kind of a thing, yeah. and you know, and so that way. That way, it also kind of tells the players what they can do, and so like I, I right. like I said, I get it, I understand the criticisms. However, it's also like you can just also make up these rules <laughs> if you so choose, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's um, but from from what I've heard, there's also some pretty cool stuff in Tasha's like blind fighting. You didn't tell me there was blind fighting. <laughs> I must have missed it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there's. I haven't gone like you know with the like through the everything. I just looked through all the things and yeah, yeah it's like a Sanathar's guide to everything. Part two. Yeah, but I think no, I did, not, this might this might be like content for another episode. But I, I really do think Wizards of the Coast needs to like n- like knuckle down on the okay. We've had everyone here. Here's all the newcomers. Now here's more rules. <laughs> like just yeah, like, yeah. You sprinkle a little bit more of uh, Pathfinder in there. Yeah, just tighten you know? up. Just like just, like okay, we're gonna we're gonna here's some three point five. Yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't they don't need to like lock it down completely. Just. Give us a little bit more structure. That's all. Yeah, just tighten it up, clean it up a bit. You know, kind of edge out, edge out, uh, round out the corners a bit. And like you know, so yes, yeah. you know, give it a bit more structure because five E does yeah. feel still feel a little loose, even after all. I think, and and I think what they can do, what an easy way to do that is just grab all the mechanics because each, not each adventure, but I, I've noticed that certain adventures will have like DM mechanics. Just grab all those mechanics. All the mechanics from like Xanathar's, Tasha's, and whatever, and uh, like the wilderness travel thing, and just boom, and then come up with some more mechanics as well. There's your DMG too, you know. Yeah. So yeah. there's all that stuff that you can use to further improve, and and that's not outside the realm of impossibility. Like I remember three point five, there were multiple rule books. Like yeah. there was yeah. there was player's handbook one two three there was a DMG two there was a DMG three kind of a thing like that like that yeah like you said like DMG part two and player's handbook part two yeah player's handbook part two can be all the classes and everything else just in one place yeah and I mean like Xan- Xanathar is kind of acts as like a player's handbook part two but it also is like there's also a lot of DMG stuff there as well and it's just and I just think, divide those and put them in their perspective uh, part two books and and I also kind of agree with Web DM it's like they also kind of need to add a bit more. Like maybe revise the monster manual a bit <laughs> because yes. there are some ma- there are some monsters. It's like, eh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the lycanthropes can definitely use a little bit more spice, you know, in their yeah. in their moveset. But that's like I said, this is an episode for another time. <laughs> yes, most definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, but with that, I have people coming over, so I gotta 
log out here soon. <laughs> and I have to, uh, I have to rearrange, not rearrange. I have to organize my garage, and it's oh, like fun. forty degrees out. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like their AC outside. Yeah. Anyways, um, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, one more episode of a Taco of Thirty in a one more beautiful year in this planet. One more trip um, around the sun, baby. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. Um, before make sure to up. join us live. Of uh, yeah, before those. before you join us live, uh, twitch.tv forward slash attack of opportunity and follow our episodes, leave us a review, and please leave us a comment. See if you like uh, what you didn't like, what you agree with, what you don't agree with. Um, and with that, we let you go. And I hope you all have a wonderful week, rest of your week, and um, keep on gaming. And we'll see you live every Wednesday. Well, not every Wednesday, most Wednesdays. Every Wednesday. No, <laughs> we have almost, almost, almost every Wednesday. Yeah, I'm about to say with holidays and stuff, almost every Wednesday. Well, uh, holidays is uh, far away stuff. Anyways, oh my god! Think, <laughs> you all have a wonderful rest of your week, and make sure to join us live once again. I'll talk about Yeah. Twitch. Yeah. Hey. Right. Bye. Bye.